Clear's Throat. <laughs> Do I read Clear's Throat? Greg Renlin of the Face Off Academy, welcome to the Weekly Watch. What's up, TLN Nation? Today on the Weekly Watch, we're gonna give you three tips to improve your stick skills instantly. Not like right away, but if you watch to the end of the video and then you try them out, it's pretty much instant. The first tip is trying something that we call mirroring. To do this, you don't need a ball. All you need is your stick and a reflective surface. So you stand in front of it and you check out your throwing mechanics with your strong hand and try and match them on your weak hand. If you don't have a mirror, you can also use your iPhone, film yourself, and watch the video back. But the main thing is, is to go through your motions, making sure that your strong hand looks the same as your weak hand. It's a great way to work on your mechanics while you're at home, and then test them out when you go out on the field. To go a step further, you can also practice your stick protection. I used to do this a lot in high school and college. Act as if you're doing a one-handed cradle and make sure that you can't see your stick. It should be fully covered by your body. Tip number two is to do stick tricks. They're just another great way to always have your stick in your hand and to get more comfortable with the ball. Two specific stick tricks that we like to do. The first one is just sidewall stalls. Sidewall stalls help you with your ball control. It requires you to give as the ball comes to the sidewall and really helps you with your soft hands. Also can help out with your hand-eye coordination as you're watching the ball and tracking it as it comes down. The second trick is around the world. So you bring the stick across your body and throw the ball behind your back and then catch it in front of you. This is something that really helps you with your awareness, your hand-eye coordination, and just generally makes you way more comfortable with your stick. Also, if you're an attackman, there might be a chance that you'll actually use it and score within around the world. You never know. Try to master it with your strong hand, then move to your weak hand. Then if you wanna take it a step further, switch hands every rep. It's something that you can do and all you need is the ball and your stick. The third thing you can do to improve your stick skills is just to do everyday things with your weak hand. So that could be eating with your off hand, writing with your off hand, drawing, really just anything in everyday life that you do with your strong hand, try and do with your weak hand. A really great way to work on your off hand without a lacrosse stick is just to grab a tennis ball. Take the tennis ball and throw it against the wall with your off hand. This will help you with your mechanics as well as with your hand-eye coordination. Just gets your mind going with your off hand. Try it with your strong hand, your weak hand. It's a really similar mechanic to throwing and shooting. Just try to take a tennis ball out to a wall, throw it against it, strong hand, weak hand. Trust me, it'll make your stick skills better. So those are our three tips to help you improve your stick skills no matter where you are. If you have any other ideas for what you can do, things like this, comment them below. Another great way to improve your stick skills is by watching lacrosse. And right now, one of the best places to watch lacrosse is on Twitter. The NLL is doing a game of the week every week, which is awesome. We wanted to talk about two specific goals from this past weekend from the Calgary Roughnecks Vancouver Stealth Game. The first goal is from Dane Doby. Check this out as he catches the ball on the crease, throws a couple stick fakes, takes two steps to improve his angle, and throws it behind his back. That takes a lot of control with the ball and a lot of comfort with his stick. And the second goal comes from Zach Courier. He comes down the side here and does like an air gate, one-handed, jumping over the cage and dunking it. You have to be super comfortable with your stick to pull off a move like this. The only reason Zach Courier can pull a move like this is because he's logged a lot of hours with his stick. He's super comfortable with it in either hand. So when he's in a game situation, he's able to get creative and pull off moves like that. At the end of the day, the most important thing is for you to spend as much time with your stick in your hand as you can. But if you're in a situation where you don't have a field or you can't play wall ball, those three tips we gave you are great ways to improve your stick skills anywhere you are. And if you guys have any other ideas like this that you can pull off anywhere, comment them below. The holiday time also means that it's snowing. Obviously it's not snowing here, but in the majority of places, it's snowing. If it's snowing where you are and you're outside playing lacrosse, we wanna see it. Send us your videos using hashtag Snowlax, DM them to us at TLN Nation. We wanna see you playing lacrosse in the snow. And I wanna give a shout out to Radner Girls Youth Lacrosse who sent us this awesome video of this girl on a snowboard. She catches it, puts it in the goal, falls. It's just an all around great Snowlax video. Send us more stuff like that. 
Thanks to Greg Beast for opening up the beginning of the Weekly Watch. If you want to intro the Weekly Watch, send your video to info at the lacrossenetwork.com. And you never know, you may click on the Weekly Watch and find out that you're the one who opens it. Greg Beast actually came to the New York office last week, and the guys out there filmed a Q&A with him. Keep an eye out for that. Also, Greg Beast has a docu-series out right now called The Last Ride that profiles the entire last season before he retired. We link the series on the screen as well as in the comments below. Definitely make sure to check it out. Super high quality and really cool to go into the history of a guy like Greg Beast. There are only a couple days left in 2017. I know, that's crazy. This year went by super fast. TLN is teaming up with Paul Carcaterra to bring you lacrosse's best moments of the year. And we need your help. Comment below with what you thought were some of the best moments of 2017 in lacrosse. Like Maryland winning the national championship? Or that full field goalie goal? Yeah, that was awesome. We were there for that. Help us put together the best of the best of 2017 in lacrosse. Comment below what you thought were some of the best moments and stay tuned for that compilation video hosted by Paul Carcaterra. This was the most popular design on the new TLN merch store. And with the holidays, this is a perfect time to pick up some new TLN merch and rep TLN Nation. So check out the store. The link is in our description. Pick up some merch and let us know what your favorite design is. Like we got hoodies, we got shirts, short we got, sleeve, long sleeve, we, we got, got hats, beanies, we got notebooks. Check it out, link is gonna be in the description. Rep TLN Nation. Okay, I'm gonna whip pan really hard to end this. Go for it. That's it this week for the Weekly Watch. Make sure to try those three tips to improve your stick skills. Let us know what you thought about them and let us know if you have any other tips to improve your stick skills that you can do anywhere. Also, help us out with the Paul Carcaterra recap video. Comment below with some of the best moments from 2017. We gave you guys a lot of stuff to do, but the most important thing to do is enjoy the holidays with your friends and family. And outside of that, we'll see you next week. Peace.